Hey, welcome back. In my previous episode, I talked a bit about inner child and the younger versions of ourselves, a past, and when it's not, the trauma hasn't been resolved. And it has to be like war trauma. It can be like micro traumas um, or ways we perceived our uh, childhood or teenagehood and how it affects us as adults today. So in today's episode, I'm going to talk about three ways how to self-heal your inner child. After leaving the corporate nine to five grind, I became the boss of my own spiritual business, helping others explore and navigate the human experience from insight, wisdom, and lessons learned along the way. Today, I help aspiring spiritual entrepreneurs gain the confidence to share their gifts with the world. Welcome to the Happy Healing Shop Podcast. I'm your host, Trang Pham Nguyen, and each week we'll dive into incredible stories of strength, resilience, and transformation. So if you are ready for some serious breakthroughs, laughs and tears, and stories that will inspire you, you are in the right place, my friend. Let's get started. So the first tool you can use is a visual guided meditation. To make it short and sweet, heal your inner child in less than 10 minutes with my free guided meditation that I create, which I'll link down below. And you might need some tissue or Kleenex for this meditation because even though it is short, it is going to bring up a lot of feelings and most likely feelings of anger or sadness, but it takes you to through this whole journey of just showing yourself that you're loved and that you're okay and that maybe you had to leave family or people behind in order to be where you are today. So I highly recommend it. Give it a try and let me know how it goes for you. Now, the second tool you can use is writing, journaling. And I know it sounds so overdone or like, yeah, I know what that is. But when you write, it really gets in touch with your subconscious. And, you know, the thing is sometimes with these exercises, tears can flow out. And those are unspoken words, unspoken for years or how long it's been that you weren't able to talk about it or tell someone about it. Or a lot of times when people write, they didn't realize how much they've been keeping in, how much they've been trying to stay strong. A common exercise is writing a letter to your younger self. And that's where you talk to your inner child directly. So for example, be like, hey, dear little Trang, Um, And you're going to talk about or think about a moment when you were younger, didn't feel safe or vulnerable, or you felt anxious or ashamed or abandoned. So sometimes people can't remember their childhood and that's okay. It's more so a feeling like, you know, going back and remembering how you felt in that moment and then talking to them, being open and honest and vulnerable with them and acknowledging the lack of emotional support they had and how it was not their fault and how their needs weren't met by the adults or the parents or the guardians in their lives at that moment. You might tell them that their feelings are valid and remind the younger version of yourself that they are worthy of love. And finally, you want to wrap it up by reassuring them and telling them that you love them and that you're there for them and how proud you are of them. And you can also write as if you're talking to them about what your life is like now or and show that your younger child would have been so proud of you as an adult and getting to where you are today. Now, if you want a step-by-step book that helps you go through this and also guides you through the process, there's a variety of inner child healing exercises in my shadow work healing journal. And that comes as a soft copy PDF, or we have a hard copy as well, which I'll link down below in the show notes. You also get the soft copy for free when you join the Happy Healing Club, my membership, which includes more healing events like breath work, Reiki healing energy, inner child workshops, and more. And what's nice is in this book, it also has an emotions color wheel, which includes a list of emotions. Most of the time, it's easy to say, I feel sad, I feel mad, but It helps so much to be able to have something to dig deeper. So underneath that anger, is it hurt? Is it frustration? Is it hopelessness? Because those are different degrees and different shades of what those, that core emotion is. Now, before I share the third tip on how to help heal your inner child, I'm going to give you an example of what this inner child 
written exercise looks like. And I'm opening up a little bit about what I wrote here. Dear little train, looking at your face, you would never know something was wrong. She would observe as her eyes looked around the room at home. She can see dad coming home tired, complaining on work being laborious. Mom was always reading a religious magazine or cooking away. Somehow little Trang knew that the family was poor or low income, so she wouldn't ask for money or help and just was aware to be independent at such a young age. Be the easy kid, high achieving kid to get to school and be successful for the family. Don't add stress to the parents. They don't need any more stress. The family is surviving. Little Trang wishes there was someone to talk to on her worries. She was only eight years old. It's heartbreaking to watch such a little kid become an adult. Oh, little Trang, you're full of worries only an adult would have. I want to give you a hug and comfort you. You didn't have time to be a playful kid and listen to what was on your mind. I know you're feeling nervous, insecure, scared, worried, and helpless on any financial situation. And you didn't realize it, but you were emotionally neglected because your parents were working all the time or they only understood that they just need to feed and bathe the kid and take care of them in that way. You felt like there was no one to talk to that would understand, truly understand. And dear little Trang, I can totally see why you were so worried about making ends meet at such a young age. You may have felt helpless, but you know what? As an adult, you get the power to change that completely and rewrite your story. Your parents were so different. Actually, the whole family is so different from you that you probably felt out of place in that you couldn't talk to anyone. Your parents didn't know how to parent only to survive, which they passed on to you without realizing it. You're okay, Trang. You're safe, little one. The finances are not your problem. Play some more. People love you. I love you. You are so loved. And don't let what your parents or family say get into your head. It's unfair the burden of the world landed so hard on your shoulders. You don't need to worry and be scared or have the fear of not succeeding. So I'm going to read another passage here because with these exercises, you can repeat them over and over again for different scenarios that happened in your life. Dear little Trang, you have been worried and aware at such a young age. You became responsible, knew the family was struggling. There was fear of not being able to make ends meet and you felt that fear for years. I'm sorry you had to feel scared and worried for such a long time. You were so strong, but no child should have to feel that way. No child should have to feel responsible, be careful, and worry about money. You shouldn't have had to be the responsible sibling and have everything dumped on you. It wasn't fair, and I'm sorry it happened to you. I'm so proud that you became one of the most resourceful people that ever existed as you create a strength from the hardships you had to go through on a lonely journey. You are able to connect other people with similar experiences and pains together. You will be okay. You are okay, even if it didn't seem like it in the moment. And little Chang, how balls you were able to get through the challenges you did at a young age. It's not something many people could do. Thank you for being you, an inspiration to others, because that is what you do today. And what a hard path you walked, but it will cause ripples and waves in this world. Yep, all because of you your strength and tenacity to be determined to not be defeated. I love you no matter what happens. I'm always here for you if you want or need to talk, okay? I'm just a text, WhatsApp, or letter away. Love, Big Trang. Oh, and when you do these exercises, there's a chance, especially when you read it out, um, it hits 10 times harder. <sighs> so you kind of see a common theme there with me. So yeah, that's kind of like a, a little, it seems like such a simple exercise, but when you actually do it, you'll, you'll know what I mean. And you'll start to feel and move a lot of the energy that's been there for a long time and hasn't been expressed. It hasn't been spoken. So finally, with the third thing you can consider in ways to help heal your inner child is find a community, talk to other people that have gone in similar situations, or, you know, there's always therapy. Um, or counseling, things that kind of have someone to be able to reflect on or talk about it. If you're looking for a spiritual community that is supportive and ready to lift you up, 
come join my Facebook group, Happy Healers, or join my club membership and share this podcast episode with a friend. If you found this to be helpful, give this show a five-star rating on Apple or Spotify so it can reach more of our vibrant community. And always, always remember to shine your light brightly and to share your story because you never know who it can help, give hope to, or inspire to create a change in their own world. Thanks for being here and I'll see you next week.